Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry for the disconnect. As you can see, it is now daytime. <laughs> I was recording the video um, at night and I just had to um, do a quick tech fix. So here we are back to your reading. This is Aries Libra. And this actually could be um, a little bit of Source's way of saying that there are in fact two binary energies at play right now, as I was saying with the two of pentacles here, two of materials in this deck. It's balancing two careers, a transition, um, a choice of some sort, but it's also uh, light and shadow energies I was getting. Not necessarily positive, negative, but light and uh, shadow, meaning like these are the things at play right now. These are the things that you're uh, bringing into your awareness, like any type of shadow energy. And maybe with the Uranus energy at the bottom of the astrology deck, that's like sudden insight, right? That's enlightenment. So there just could be like dualities and, and a very binary way of looking at things right now. Um, and remember, refers to which houses your nodes are in because those houses are going to indicate the area of life that um, is being impacted whenever you're seeing this with your um, with your north and south nodes. Okay, so this is in the position of uh, current reality, that two of pentacles. So let's get some energies around uh, obstacles or challenges. Queen of inspiration. Queen of inspiration is fire energy, it's feminine energy, but doesn't mean that it is in fact um, limited to a, a female body, right? Female person or a woman. But it is um, an energy of leadership, fierceness, loyalty. You know, for me, it's uh, Leo energy. But, you know, as you can see in the back, there's this beautiful sun here, right? Sun is, uh, sun is a ruler of Leo. So some of you could have strong Leo placements, maybe. Um, but this is in your challenge position. So maybe some of you are having trouble getting to a place of where you really see yourself as a leader or taking on a more um, stronger sense of authority. Remember, especially if your North Node is in Aries, your soul's destiny is really to step into a sense of, you know, trailblazing, being in the spotlight, um, kind of leading a mission, um, letting others know that, you know, you are in fact the leader and having uh, others follow you, follow your leadership. So there's, there could be something here where, um, you know, for example, this is coming out over the um, Keepers of the Light Oracle, experiencing grace, share your gifts with grace. Maybe in the past you've shared your gifts, you've shared your knowledge, but it wasn't well received. Uh, maybe you just had the wrong audience. Maybe it was the wrong time. Um, and that could have maybe like tainted your confidence in terms of showing up with authority, showing up with, um, you know, a, a vigor and, you know, a stemna in terms of driving things through to finish or just even showing up to begin with. So I think sources here to say like here, you know, bottom of the deck, you have his life force. Sources reminding you, you do have the strength, you do have the ability, you do have the knowledge. Even if you're still learning, you know more than someone somewhere, right? So definitely put one foot in front of the other. I think you will be supported as you do those things. And don't sell yourself short. All right. Queen of Wands is what that energy is. Now, what is the outcome in the near future or the solution energy is the devil. Wow, Capricorn energy. Now, the devil is um, Saturnian energy. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn, but it's also limitations, restrictions, obsessions. Um, but this, uh, in this position, right, in the outcome or expectation solutions, position of this spread, the devil energy is telling me that you are, in fact, maturing because Saturn is that maturing energy saturn is like the you know old grandfather of the cosmos and i'm not saying that you're an old grandfather i'm just saying that you're maturing you're becoming more wise you're becoming more patient and you know you're really learning how to maybe take any type of perceived failures and turn them into opportunities right see them differently and this is also a sense of like high commitment you know a lot of readers myself included will say like addictions or limitations or obsessions but i think if you look at the light side of that going back to that light shadow uh duality i was talking about earlier if you look at the light side of like you know obsession it's like you're totally immersed and committed to your gifts and sharing those gifts maybe you've done things incorrectly in the past maybe you've um acted too hastily, right? That is uh, shadow Aries energy. Maybe you weren't doing well with partnerships, Libra energy. And now you're kind of really sinking in and attaching yourself to doing better, to going the distance, right? Clearing your mind, bottom of the deck is eight of voices, right? Self-imposed uh, mental imprisonment. Replaying anything that hasn't worked out well in the past and clearing that out, I think source is here to support you in that, again, with the Uranus energy. And with the other um, astrology cards that were here, which is 10th house, 
right? The moon and the uh, third house, right? Intellect, yeah. So some of you might be uh, having imposter syndrome even, thinking that you're just not well-versed enough or you're not knowledgeable enough. But I'm telling you, start small. Third house is house of Gemini, but it's short-term communications, little bite-sized things. Maybe you can chunk up your projects smaller. Maybe you can um, set a plan to... Um, somehow drip feed your content, you know, like in other words, you're not doing like a huge presentation or you're not doing a huge launch. You're just sharing bits and pieces of it. And that can be a way of like building up your confidence and helping you stay consistent. And um, yeah, again, just kind of taking yourself more seriously with this attorney and energy here. And so others see you as that as well. But I'm getting that people do see you as that. It's just that maybe in the past there were some situations where um, you were not necessarily in the same uh, what's the word? You were not in front of like your kismet client, right? Your, your divine clients, your soul clients. So let's get some um, life-changing oracles, emotions. Yeah, don't let your emotions make decisions for you. I think Source is here to say that, you know, you have emotions, honor them, feel them, but don't let them bog you down. Don't let your emotions be like the ball and chain. Um, you know on your journey here or be a ball and chain on your on you and during your journey All right, and what else forgiveness? This is the second forgiveness energy here. We have um, Yeah, st. Germain karma releasing move beyond drama create your own path make room for good energy Which I think was did you have good energy? I mean, I'm sorry forgiveness Sorry, that might have been the Pisces Virgo reading, but there was um, a forgiveness energy from the keepers of the light But this karma releasing I think definitely includes forgiveness you know, forgiving yourself for, you know, not being a little bit more thick skinned, I think. I'm just getting an energy of that. Not the meaning of the cards here, but it's just an energy of like taking other people's opinions and their word too seriously, putting weight where it shouldn't have been. And that again could be shadow side Libra energy because Libra is that energy of like wanting to be in partnership, but it's like shadow side is that you're codependent on that. You're codependent on the acceptance and um, reassurance of others when you can really get that from within. And then we have body changes. So some of you could be working on your body now, working on your image, spiritual growth. Oops. Sobriety came out, kind of just randomly popped out. Sobriety is here. So that could be relevant for some of you. And then spiritual growth was at the bottom of the deck. All right. So spiritual growth here. As you mature, as you see yourself differently, as you see yourself more than just a set of like accomplishments and more about um, what your actual purpose is here on this planet. OK, so I hope that you got something out of these readings. Sorry for the mishap. Part one is um, link down below. This is part two of your reading Aries and Libra. So again, if something here resonates, like the video, share, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My pages are linked below if you like a personal reading. I do include a, per, um, a tarot spread and an R scan in those personal readings. And I can look at your solar return, um, natal chart, or your progress chart for those readings if you'd like. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And be sure to thrive. Bye.